Hey, what's going on guys? It is Mega Crasher and welcome you guys back to a brand new video and ladies and gentlemen Are you guys ready? Are you guys set? Because it is going down Today's the day, baby. We are going to be debuting the first episode of Triple Threat Thursdays Woo! Now ladies and gentlemen in case you guys stumbled on to this video for the first time And or I should better yet say if you stumbled across my channel for the first time and you guys have no idea how triple threat thursdays work well then allow your boy to give you a 30 second run down it goes down like this so basically what goes down is that you send me your battles that you want to see me narrate and for right now ladies and gentlemen we are going to keep it to pokemon showdown battles okay so send me your replays in the comments down below and i will get to them and what ends up going down after that is I end up narrating three battles. This is a weekly series. I will be narrating three battles, hence the triple in Triple Threat. And Thursdays will be when the new episodes drop. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, please be sure to send me your battles. Now with that being said, I got a trifecta of amazing battles to showcase here tonight. And some of you guys may recognize these names from our original series of Subscriber Show on Sundays and Two More Tuesdays. Tuesdays that was formerly hosted on my main channel. Well, now, ladies and gentlemen, you guys are going to be in for a treat because we have ourselves two tremendous battlers that are going to be duking it out in a best of three series. Woo! So with that being said, guys, strap yourselves in and let's get started with battle number one. Please be sure to smash the like button and subscribe if you guys want to see more content like this, baby. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so in our first match here, we are going to be having two tremendous warriors duke it out in a Gen 7 OU match. So what we got going on here is we got Charizard139 with a pretty interesting and pretty scary looking team. Seeing a lot of hyper offense on here. I mean, we have ourselves Charizard, or well, I should say Mega Charizard, and I'm willing to bet I know what Mega Evolution it's going to be, but we're going to find out when the actual battle commences. We have Garchomp, we got Bisharp. Ho oh, oh, ho oh, ho, I gotta say, I'm scared of that Bish, you know? We also have ourselves the Superior. We got Greninja, or could that be Ash Greninja? Woo! A lot of shenanigans going on here on this team. A couple of uh, couple of unknowns that we got going on. And last but not least, we have ourselves Mew. Now, we have ourselves Rebel Penguin 20. Now, this cat right here, I'll tell you something. You should not toy around with Rebel Penguin 20 because he will eat you up, okay? If you are not on your game, he will eat you alive. So, I want you guys to take a close look at what Rebel Penguin 20's team is. Does that look kind of familiar for you? I mean, we have always some Gen 4 vibes going on. We have ourselves a vibe that emanates from a certain individual that happens to be the champion in the Sinnoh League, Cynthia. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. We have ourselves a Cynthia-themed team. Coming in the form of Garchomp, we got Lucario, we got Togekiss, we also have ourselves the Milotic, we got Spiritomb, and we have ourselves the Rose Raid. Oh yeah, baby, this is gonna be awesome. So, with that said, let's commence in the first match. Let's commence in the carnage, baby. Oh, here we go, it's started, baby. Oh, we got Garchomp leading off on one end, and we got the Milotic leading off on the other. Oh, snap. So we got the Stealth Rocks being set by the Garchomp various- Oh! Whoa, what the hell? Ice Beam! We, we just saw an Ice Beam survival. Oh my lord, that is crazy and worthy of a pause right there. Did you guys see that? What? Oh man, that was absolutely nuts! I was honestly not expecting that Garchomp to live. A four times super effective Ice Beam, but holy moly on a stick did it ever! Wow, that's crazy. And my loader just got burned by the Flame Orb. Okay, and we got Dragon Claw, and <laughs> that did so little damage! And that Scald easily dispatches of the Garchomp. Goodbye! Oh man, that was just... What? That's just nuts! And uh-oh, we got Superior. Okay, well, it, it's clear that we gotta switch out, and in comes a Rose Raid to take that four times resisted Leaf Storm. But that doesn't exactly stop the fact 
that Superior's special attack has been boosted by two stages, thanks to Contrary. Uh-oh, that's not good. And Dragon Pulse! Oh, what? That did so little damage! Are you kidding me? What? That did 29% damage, and plus two to Rose Raid. Oh my lord, that thing is- that- that's just crazy! And that Sludge Bomb as well! Doing a little over half damage, and man oh man alive, a plus two Dragon Pulse ain't doing that much damage to Rose Raid. That's gotta be Assault Vested, but- <laughs> wow! Anyways, now we have ourselves Greninja coming in for the Fallen Superior, and we got the Ice Beam! Oh, taking down the Rose Raid. And that's Battle Bond, baby! We know that that means Ash Greninja's in the house now! And we have ourselves Lucario. We got one iconic Pokemon taking on another, and why would he stay in? Why would he stay in? What? Okay, what the hell just happened here? Okay, if I was Charizard 139, I'd, I'd kind of be panicking a bit. It's like, well, uh, I probably would want to switch into something like Mew or something like that. Maybe Charizard to take whatever flying, like, fighting or steel type sort of move that was going to be launched at Greninja. I would say mostly fighting because, you know, Greninja is weak to fighting and all that stuff. Like, yeah. Wow. Okay, that was surprising. But anyways, down goes Ash Greninja. Thanks to Lucario and its Aura Sphere. Now we got the Bish. Here we go! What? Oh my god, are you kidding me? Man, that, that, that's two KOs right there. Man, Lucario is on fire, baby. Oh, that's nice. And in comes the Mew, and in comes Spiritomb. Oh my lord, here we go. And that Aura Sphere does nothing. Oh, all right. Okay, let's see what's going to happen next. And that dark... That Dark Pulse did so little! And we got Dark Pulse from the Spirit Tomb. That that did a lot! Oh man, here we go! We got some good we got some good damage going on here from the Spirit Tomb. It's hitting back pretty hard. Look at that. Two hit KO'd cleanly that Mew. That crit did not even matter, baby. So now we, it's come down to this. It's come down to Charizard. What's gonna happen? And it's Mega time! It's Mega X! Uh-oh! And in comes the Dragon Dance! Oh, snap! And in comes the Toxic! Oh! Doesn't exactly have a dance to it, but hey, that kind of got a good beat right there. But now we got the Flare Blitz! Oh, man! Spirit Tomb! You're going back to rest in peace, son! Down in the ground where you belong! Now we got Milotic coming in. So what's gonna happen here? And we got Dragon Coin. Oh, my Lodic! Are you kidding me? It survives a it survives a plus one. Tough claws boosted Dragon Claw right in the face. Oh man, are you kidding? That was crazy right there. And it just recovered that off. Oh, things ain't looking too good, baby. And we have ourselves protect. Oh, that's really, really not good. Oh. That's just, that's just adding insult to injury. I think, I think there's a clear-cut winner up in this, man. I think that, yep, look at that. There's a winner. Yep. Oh, man, that Mega Charizard goes down after a good fight, but Rebel Penguin 20 is the winner. And I just got to say, whoo, what an opener for a, for a contest. Like, that was crazy right there. Damn, I loved this match. But anyways, guys, like this, this right here is just one of three spectacular bouts I have for you on this video. So with that being said, guys, let's transition to battle number two. All right, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for an absolute monstrosity of a match? Yeah, we're seeing Mega Evolutions galore. And the thing is, is that you normally don't see Mega Evolutions as a base form. You have to Mega Evolve them first, and you can only use one Mega Evolution per battle. Yes, that's right, ladies and gentlemen. This ain't no ordinary battle, because this is Gen 7 Balanced Hackmons, baby. Oh, snap. And I don't think I even need to introduce the two combatants here in what I believe will be a spectacular contest. We have Rebel Penguin 20 taking on Charizard 139, and for Rebel Penguin 20, we have ourselves Mega Sceptile, we have Zoroark, we have Mega Sableye, we have Mega Obama Snow, we have Ash Greninja, and we have Groudon, or could that be Primal Groudon? Oh, who knows, baby? Now for Charizard 139, we have Mega Charizard Y, we've got I was about to say Primal Swamper. No, no, no. Well, based on uh, how it looks, might as well be Primal. It is bulky. It is buffed up to hell. Though, I don't think it should skip leg day. You know what I mean? Nah, it's Mega Swamper. We also have ourselves Mega Rayquaza. We've got Chansey. And, well, look at that. We got Shedinja. 
That little bugger. Oh my god, that thing is so annoying in Balance Hackmons. It's unbelievable. And last but not least, guys, we've got Celesteela. This is going to be one hell of a match. Let's get to it. And the battle has started. We have, oh, a Bomb Snow Mega and, uh oh, Mega Charizard Y and, oh, it lived that four times super effective Inferno with the Focus Sash. But damn, it got burnt. It's not going to be lasting too much long. Oh, oh, Head Smash to the face. Oh, man, are you kidding? Are you absolutely kidding? Like, okay. That is an instant replay moment right there. We gotta see that shiznickel again. Oh my god. Okay, look at this. Okay, you watching? Yes, we got two shiny megas. They're about to go at it. Inferno! No! He got, he does not go down thanks to the focus sash. And that head smash, despite being burned and cutting the attack down, that just absolutely effed up Mega Charizard Y. Damn, now we got Shininja coming in. Oh! It, it used a Cell Rock on a Bomb of Snow and takes him down. Damn. And now we have ourselves Mega Sable, I should say. Shiny Mega Sable. Now we got Foresight going on. Oh, it bounced it back. Oh, no. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, wait. Oh, never mind. I was about to say he, he, was, he was about to be screwed over with the poison status. But look at that. That Lumberry Consumption was real nice. And yeah, look at that. We got Recycle now. That is a big problem because now he's got the Lumberry back. Oh, damn. This is going to be crazy. And oh, Gastro Acid. Oh, no. That just suppressed his ability. Oh, man. And Fa Foul Play just completely wrecked Shedinja. Now, for those of you guys that don't know, Shedinja is absolutely annoying with the ability sturdy in balanced Hackmon. So you have to find a way past it. Whether it's Mold Breaker, whether it's through like a move that neutralizes the ability, ignores abilities and stuff, or what what Mega Sableye just did right there. Use that Gastro Acid action, son. That is nice. Very, very nice play right there. All right. So now we got Mega Swamper coming in. What's going to happen now? Oh, Flame Charge. It's going to boost that speed up by one stage. All right, let's see what's going to happen. And the Toxic. <laughs> the Toxic happened. Oh, he's put on a timer now, son. What's going to happen now? And no, he missed the Crab Hammer. What? Oh, no. And the Foul Play is going to deal a good amount of damage. Chip it away at Mega Swamper. Okay. Okay, man. This right here. Now we got Crab Hammer. And that does a respectable amount of damage. And foul play there. That's also going to do damage. And thanks to the Toxic Poison, look at that. Takes down the Mega Swampert, son. All right. Let's see this. And now we're going to sell Steela coming in. What's going to happen here? Oh, 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 shoot. That's not good. Oh, no, that's not good. We got Shell Smash. And, well, Gastro, I thought for a sec he was going for a Toxic because the animation showed what looked to be a toxic sort of thing but no that's actually gastro acid suppressing the ability of celesteela but I, you can't suppress its stab boost so man two 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 attack special attack and speed that thing is gonna be a monster to face holy shit here we go so we resume and let's see this oh oh heavy slam to the face mega sibli goes down son oh no and now we got mega septile coming in uh oh acrobatics oh acrobatics takes him down oh oh god this ain't good this ain't good. Oh, we got Primal Groudon in. Can Primal Groudon make the save? Can it make the save? Acrobax, can it? Oh, he tanked that up real nice. All right. So we go. Ho, 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 ho. Spectral Thief. That's not good. Oh, my lord. That's not good. He just stole your stat boost, son. That's really not good. You really don't want to have a shiny Primal Groudon steal your stats like that, son. Because now that thing is going to be set to sweep. Oh, Lord, that's not good. That's really not good. Thousand arrows just to add insult to injury. Takes down the Celesteela, baby. And now we got Chansey coming in. I don't like your chances. What? Flare Blitz takes him down, but what's this? Oh, they're both down. They both fade away into fainted existence. And now we got ourselves Ash Greninja. We got Mega Rayquaza, baby. And that Ice Beam, holy moly, actually survived. All right, what's going to happen? We got the superpower. Oh, whoa, man. He O-coded that Ash Greninja and, well, shit. We got contrary. They, this ain't good. Now, unless Zoroark has priority 
Uh, this, this is actually not good, because it seems to me that we have a turnaround here. But we're gonna see in a second. Oh! Oh, Night Days! Oh! Oh! Oh, what a comeback, man! That thing had to be scarfed. Holy shiznickel, that was crazy! What a match that was! That was absolutely nuts! Congratulations to both players! But once again, we got Rebel Penguin 20 being the winner here. In this epic as hell close encounter, this was nuts. This was this was more nuttier than nuts. Like this was so nuts that you could have a peanut allergy. Like this is crazy. Holy cow! All right, guys. Well, we're not out of the woods yet because we have one more contest to showcase. So let's go. That's right, guys. We are going to be ending things off with a monotype match. This is what we have come to see as the main event, guys. This is what is going to be closing out the debut episode of Triple Threat Thursdays. Hope you guys are prepared. Hope you guys are still strapped in for this hyped as hell ride because we got one more death destination and the road intersects in this match right here because we have ourselves a fire versus dragon team this is going to be crazy okay you're probably thinking off the top of your head well fire is resisted against dragon well I'll see here's the thing that may be but you never ever 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 count your chickens before they hatch from their eggs because you never know what's going to happen I've seen so many matches where the disadvantaged type absolutely mopped the floor against the type that they were quote-unquote weak against. So, what I'm trying to say, guys, is do not bet against the fire squad, because they're firing on all cylinders. But that dragon, that draconic fury, though, on the other hand, cannot be extinguished. But what's going to happen? Something's got to give. So... Charizard 139's team consists that of what I believe is going to be Mega Charizard Y. I think that right there would probably be the best case scenario, given the fact that it's going to have an ability that benefits all of its Fire-type brethren. But that's just my opinion. We also have ourselves Torkoal for the Sun. We've got Volcarona, man. That thing's going to be crazy. We have ourselves the Infernape. We've got Heatran. And last but not least, for the victory, hopefully, for Charizard 139, we've got Victini, baby. Now for Rebel Penguin 20, we have ourselves what looks to be Altaria, or could that be Mega Altaria? We have ourselves a few Pokemon on this team that have potential Mega Candidates, such as Latios and Garchomp, but we also have ourselves non-Mega Threats, such as Hydreigon. We've got Curem Black, man. That thing, that will, thing will freeze you into Black Ice Disaster. And last but not least, guys, we've got Dragalgy, baby, so we're about to see something go down. Let's get it. The final battle's begun, baby. Here we go. We got ourselves Torkoal leading off against Latios, and we got the Drought bringing that sun out. Here we go, man. And oh, Luster Purge. That's going to lower the special defense by one stage. And, well, Torkoal sets up the Stealth Rocks because he don't give a damn. Not much he can do against Latios offensively, but he can set up them rocks for sure. And Luster Purge is going to take down the Torkoal. And let's see what's going to happen next. The sun is strong in this one. Oh, oh God. We got Volcarona. And uh-oh. Oh, oh we got to switch to Dragalgy, the ultimate Volcarona counter, baby. Uh-oh. But can he counter that Quiver Dance boost in the special attack, special defense, and the speed all by plus one, son. Here we go. Oh, oh, God. Here we go. We got the Inferno Overdrive. Oh, he lived. He lived with 1% health. Are you kidding? Kidding? Are you joking? That Dragalgy is a bloody tank. Holy moly, that was crazy, man. What? What? That was so nuts. Uh-oh, what's Dragalgy gonna do? Well, Dragalgy retaliates with the Toxic, but I'm not sure what uh, what Dragalgy's got in mind, baby. It's not looking too well. Okay, so Toxic paired with Protect. That's the classic Toxic stall combo right there. Holy moly. That right there was clutch survival right there. That was crazy, man. And that Bug Buzz, resisted or not, that's going to take down Dragalgy from that amount of health right there. So, what is going to happen next, man? This right here. We got Garchomp, baby. Let's see what's going to happen. He sends in the Garchomp. Oh, Giga Drain. All right. Trying to get some of that health back. And we got ourselves... Oh, no! A critical hit earthquake taking down the Volcarona. Holy moly. Oh, he 
he can't be too happy about that. And oh, we got Blue Heatran now, baby. Here we go. We got the Iron Head just to troll and pop that balloon, popping that balloon. And Flash Cannon, he lives with 5% health. Holy moly, that's great. That's crazy, man. Oh, that Earthquake, though, is going to take down that Heatran. Oh, man, he's on fire right now. And then speaking of fire, we got Infernape with the close combat. And, well, that rough skin is going to do him dirty right there. But, alas, Garchomp finally goes down. And now we got ourselves Altaria coming in. What's going to happen? Oh, it's Mega Altaria time. Here we go. We got the close combat. And, well, unsurprisingly, that does, like, little damage to that bulky cotton bird. Oh, oh, God. Oh, shit. That's not good. That's really not good. Oh, he's cotton guarding it up. What is he doing? He just cotton guarded up to plus six and two turns. Oh, no. And that close combat is just like bouncing off of him like ricocheting bullets. And yeah, that Hyper Witch just cold cocked that freaking Infernape like there was no tomorrow. And now we got Big Teeny coming in with that send head button. That does like so little damage. What is happening? And he goes with Dragon Pulse. That does quite a bit of damage. He actually switches into High Dragon up in this. What is happening? And, well, okay, that's the reason why, because of Zen Headbutt being a dark type immunity kind of thing. And we got to switch into Charizard and that Dragon Pulse, so it's going to do quite a bit of damage. And, uh-oh, we got Mega Charizard next. Could this be the... Oh! No! Oh, my God, that High Dragon's got to be Scarfed. Oh, no! Oh, Charizard 139 can't be too happy. And once again, I was wrong on my prediction. I was wrong on the Mega Charizard prediction. I thought it was going to be why, y'all. Oh my god. Why was I wrong again? <laughs> oh man. I gotta step up my prediction game, you know what I'm saying? But anyways, alas, Mega Charizard X did not even have a chance in hell in this match. And it goes down. And Victini, Victini ain't looking too good. Like, just U turn. Yes. And that doesn't take down Hydreigon. But that Dragon Pulse is finally going to take down the Victini. And thus, once again, we have the winner of Rebel Penguin 20. That is a clean, a clean victory right there, baby. That is just, oh my god. That was just absolutely amazing. A, a big time congratulations to both competitors. You both put up one hell of a series one hell of a showing here. Both of you guys are tremendous athletes, and I can honestly say that, like, you you surprised me. And it also just kind of goes to show that I miss this series. I'm so glad I brought it back here. But anyways, guys, that is going to be it here for this battle and for this video. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so that right there is going to conclude this episode of Triple Threat Thursdays. I hope you guys enjoyed the narration along with the action-packed battles that I showcased and presented. These battles would not have been possible without our amazing competitors. So, shouts out once again to y'all for putting in the work, the time, and the effort to create such amazing bat like battles. Like, wow. Like, I'm having a hard time not tripping up on my words. Like, I am that blown away, you know? So... With that being said, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed these matches. If you guys did, please be sure to smash the like button and subscribe if you guys want to see future content from me again. Thank you guys again. You guys are truly amazing. Thank you for the love and support. So, have yourself a good day, night, evening, wherever you may be, and I'll see you next upload.